Welcome to a Business Minute with Lily Lopez, presented by the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Today, we are honored and privileged because we have Congresswoman Maria Elvira Zalazar, who represents Florida's 27th Congressional District, which is my district. And I'm so happy, honored to have you here. Welcome. But before we start with a Q&A, I want to read a little bit about you because you are such an impressive woman and you've done so, so very much. You currently serve on the uh, House Committee on Foreign Affairs, as well as the House yep. Committee on Small Business, which is very important because that's what we represent as a Chamber of Congress, our small businesses. Uh, Congresswoman Salazar is committed to acting entirely in defense of individual rights and liberties. She's well known for her advocacy for human rights and democracy around the world, especially for the people of Cuba, Venezuela, and so many other nations, and that I know for a fact. Congresswoman Salazar is a five-time Emmy Award-winning journalist she has spent her career holding the corrupt and powerful accountable. I love that. Congresswoman Salazar has, has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Venezuela's dictator, Nicolás Maduro, Chile's Augusto Pinochet, and most notably Cuban dictator, Fidel Castro, being the only U.S. Spanish language journalist to ever interview the tyrant one-on-one. -on -one. I love it. Salazar has worked for every major, major um, network and uh, well, now she is a member of Congress, so we can't be more proud to have her there representing us as a very outspoken lady. So tell me, tell me, how's it been for you? First of all. Well, thank you, Lily, for, yeah, thank you very much for inviting me to this very important uh, uh, space that you have, that you've created now during the pandemic. Now you're on television and you're doing what I did for 35 years. So congratulations. <laughs> I, I think it's very interesting. It's very exciting. It's very gratifying. It's very intense. It's very hard. Uh, it takes a lot of time, energy, effort. You don't eat well. You don't sleep well. You, you travel almost every week. Uh, but it's, uh, it's probably the most important job that I've done because it's... Um, it's helping others, and that is the most important and gratifying job you can ever do. Help your fellow men. Did you think you were going to win? Because I know it was so, it was very, very tight. Uh, I always knew I was going to win because I'm a member of the community. I know my community. I knew the people that were voting for me. So Absolutely. I reached out to them, and that's why I knew. I knew. I knew. It was going to be tough. I worked hard, but I knew I was going to make it. Because Maria Vida, you you've worked at television, Univision, America TV, Mega TV, CNN Español, and you've interviewed presidents like Bill Clinton, George Bush, uh, Mexican President Vicente Fox, Spanish Prime Minister Jose Maria Aznar, Colombian President Alvaro Uribe. Which I mean, you are really um, very very well known, and not only here in Miami but in Latin America. You're a respected leader. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I so turned those viewers in, into voters. You the bring viewers. Lot, exactly. And you bring a lot of experience to the table. It's not like anybody who's running for Congress and gets to Congress and doesn't know. I mean, you know the issues. You know what's important in this community, both internationally and nationally and locally. So at this point, so tell me, I know you were appointed to the um, uh, U.S. House Small Business Committee. And tell me about that. Uh, there's a prosperity center the goals, what you're doing. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what steers to me, Lily, because I created within my congressional office something that hasn't been done before, which is to create a division called the Prosperity Center. And that division is going to do basically three things. Number one, it's going to help you find a job if you don't have one because okay. of the pandemic. Number two, if right. you were driving Uber and now you want to learn how to do something else, you want to be a welder or an electrician, or you want to learn how to put uh, lay bricks in a construction, you come to us and we'll find you that, uh, that program that will retrain you, paid by the feds. And, and the third well. one, <laughs> the third one, which is the one that I like the most, is that there are $175 billion available for minorities to become clients of the federal government. That's why you call procurement. Most people don't know this. They don't know this. I know most but people But if don't. you have a, a small cleaning shop, you can start cleaning or you can start serving, servicing the uh, federal courthouse offices in downtown Miami. Because then you can be working for the federal government and you don't need to be, and, and if you are a minority, even more. So I wanted you to become a client of the feds. Uncle Sam will be your partner. Could you imagine? 
that's, that's not a handout that's a hand up <laughs> and what do people need to know are there going to be like different workshops or information and what can you we call me call me if you live in district number 27 and you really are you're you are determined right to be helped right and then you do it with me i will be there with you and i have i have fantastic staffers that will give you a hand and take you along to become to really reach your american dream so th this is fabulous. And if you could send me information that I, we in turn can send to our members, I think it would be great because that is our mission and our vision is always helping so and to support small businesses, to empower them and to be the voice of the small business community. Absolutely, the voice. And then we, when you have a small business, their sense of uh, satisfaction, self-esteem, we're not giving you a handout, we're giving you a hand up. Exactly, and uh, absolutely a hand up to make it and to succeed particularly in these very difficult times that so many people have lost their jobs, so many people have lost their businesses. And uh, we are here together with you, so you can count on the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I know. Board of Directors for anything that you need. So now I want to go into another subject. I saw you recently, I think it was on Instagram, and you were talking about the danger of silencing people's voices. We have seen that many social platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and you keep going on and on, have silenced uh, when they see someone that writes something that is not accord in accordance to their beliefs. You come from Cuba, me too. We are friends from Venezuela, from Nicaragua. We know the danger in this little game. I'm calling it a game, but it's not because it's something very serious and I feel very passionate about it. And I heard you, I loved it. And I wanted to speak to you about it for you to talk to the members of the chamber and to everybody that tunes into a business minute with Lily Lopez about what you said on that day. Well, what I'm saying is that is now not the government, the one who's silencing you, but it's the big tech. So yes. the big tech is doing the job of government, what the government would do before they would silence you if they were not happy with your political positions, then now is not the government the one doing it, but the big tech. Right. That's fascism. It is. Fascism, yeah, fascism is that the big corporations were doing the job of the government. So now the government can say, no, well, it's not me, the one not, the one right. censoring parlor or, or removing you from your Twitter account. That's right. very dangerous. It doesn't matter who does it. It doesn't it matter. Tech, you, it doesn't it, matter. You, you can, cannot silence anybody. You cannot be, you can, it doesn't matter if you're extreme left, extreme right. It doesn't matter because we're seeing that people are being silenced, yet there are dictators in the world that are not being silenced. So that's a problem. And I think we all, all of us have to um, sh shout out and say, no, this is not acceptable because the more people just don't talk about it, ignore it, the more prevalent it will become and that is a danger to freedom of speech and it's a danger to democracy so i'm very worried and i was so happy when i saw you as a leader outspoken as you have always been because i've always admired that and i'm a little bit outspoken too yo soy and i could say in spanish yo digo la cosa como son you know right. that's the way to be way to be you gotta say it like it is and uh, you cannot silence people it doesn't matter left right whatever but you cannot do it because that affects democracy it affects the future of our children grandchildren the it's it's extremely bad so i'm be i'm very very happy to to see um that you're continuing to be vocal even yeah. though you're in government because sometimes you see people that are vocal but once they're in government they're not vocal anymore and you say what happened? I elected so-and-so and others are quiet. They're not really representing me the way they promised to represent me. And you are following up on what you promised. And I'm very, very happy. I'm honored to live in your district. And uh, yeah, of course, to have voted for you. So anything you have that we've left out, because you know, this is a, a short, uh, very short show. Well, and I just wanted to thank everybody like you who voted for me, who's supporting me. Just mm -hmm. started the job. The Democrats are pounding already, saying that I'm not doing a good job. The problem is that the division, the political division and uh, and uh, rift that we have in this country, we need to stop it. We need to come to the center and then work for the future of our children and our ge future generations. Work together, exactly. Democrats and Republicans, it does not matter. They're there elected by the people to work for us. So we would, I would love to go back to the times when Ronald Reagan, that wonderful president, and Tip O'Neill, 
would go have a drink. They had their differences, but eventually they were friends. And that is not happening now. And I don't think that's the way our founding fathers wanted this nation to, to be. That's correct. Together. That's not, we got to fight to go back to that model. That you just model. I'm friends of people from all walks of life. They could be in the political spectrum here to the left, to the right. You have to be friends and work together. The ultimate goal is to be a prosperous nation, to continue being the number one, now in the most important nation in the world, continue doing what we do, and uh, but, but not allow our freedoms to be taken and away. Thank you very much for your time, Lily, and I hope to be back. Big hugs to you. And I need you. I need, we need you back. Okay, thank you thank so much. You again. Bye. Same. Bye, thank dear. You for a business. <laughs> this is Faz, a business minute with Lily Lopez. I know you have to run. Thank you so much, Maria Bida. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much, Maria Bita. This is Yendi for 90 Seconds of Tech. As a proud citizen of the United States of America, it is imperative that I keep myself informed of the issues that impact me and all of those around me. With everything that's been going on in the last couple of years, it is extremely important to get the facts on all the issues that are going on in our governing bodies. And more importantly, holding our elected officials accountable for every promise and declaration they made on the campaign trail before they got voted in. So I found the perfect app for that. It's called Causes, and it's a nonpartisan political app designed by Countable Corp. Causes helps you to learn about what's going on in government, like the issues that are important to you. You can influence your Congress with one tap voting, and you can rally your friends around a specific legislation that's important to you right from your phone. The great thing about this app is that you get to make up your own mind. Once you customize your profile, you can do things like follow the progress of the bills that are being presented as new legislation. You get daily notifications of upcoming votes, short nonpartisan summaries of news and legislation, and unbiased arguments for and against. You can hold your reps accountable by seeing how your votes align with your lawmakers. And you can create an action center to rally your friends around an important legislation that you care about. You can make your voice immediately heard by finding the reps in your area in an easy to use menu. And you can use your iPhone or iPad camera to send video messages. For 90 Seconds of Tech, this is Yendi reminding you that politicians are not gods, they're civil servants, and they should always be kept in check.